the tramples on the U.S. Constitution. Joining us now from Austin, Texas, Republican State Representative Steve Toth. Uh, Representative, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, we, we're intrigued because you proposed legislation that would make it illegal in Texas for anyone to enforce a federal ban, shall we say, on assault weapons or high-capacity magazines. Here's the question. If the federal government, if the House and the Senate pass this legislation that the president is asking for, he signs it into law, everyone in the United States would have to obey the law. How would you, how would you avoid obeying the law? In Texas, we're going to do everything we can, Wolf. And first off, thanks for having me on. We're going to do everything we can. Um, to call people back to uh, the belief and the understanding that we're a constitutional republic and that, that our, our, law, our, our, our rights do not come from Congress. Our rights come from God and are enumerated in the Constitution. Uh, what they're proposing, and he here's what I really want to stress, he said that we will be judged. <clears throat> our generation will, ju will be judged based on how we deal with this. Cotton candy political solutions aren't going to fix this problem. But, but the Congress, by the Constitution, is given the authority to pass legislation, to, to create the laws, to make the laws. Once again, if, if they pass this legislation, I'm not sure they will pass the legislation, but let's say they do pass the legislation banning the military-type assault weapons, the high ammunition clips, uh, a universal background checks for anyone buying a gun, whether at a gun show or online or from a private individual. If that is the law of the land, that, that's the Constitution, right? You've got to obey the law of the land. Let me ask you a quick question. If you ever, he, he used the expression, women, weapons designed for the theater of war. What we're talking about here is not an M16 that's used over in Iraq or Afghanistan. That is not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about, what he's talking about banning, <clears throat> are, are weapons that are used in less than one-tenth of one percent of all gun, gun crimes. These are, these, are, these are nothing more than semi-automatic hunting rifles that look like, look like M16s. They are not M16s. If, Wolf, have you ever held one of these things in your hand and fired one? Well, I understand what you're, what you're saying, but the question I, I'm asking, and I'm not getting a direct answer, Congressman, a uh, representative, excuse me, uh, the, the specific question, if it's passed by Congress, and once again, I don't know if the Congress will pass it, but if it's passed by Congress, every U.S. It citizen <laughs> has, to obey, has to obey the law. What, what you're proposing is that people in Texas... We will do everything we can in the state not, of Texas... But I just want to make sure your law-abiding yeah, law citizens in Texas, you we will, will do obey everything the law. We, can in this, we will do everything in the, state of, in the state of Texas to ensure that, as Texas, we follow the United States Constitution. And if this government infringes on our Second Amendment right, which gives us the right not only to bear arms, but tells the government, the federal government, not to create any laws that infringes on those rights, we will do everything we can to push back against that. Does that mean, um, maybe I'm jumping too far, but does that mean seceding from the union? Is that what you're suggesting? No, that's not what we're talking about here. And, I don't, I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that that's not what this discussion is about. I'm just, I just wanted to be precise. That's not what you were, you were calling for. Uh, what you're saying is you will try to, uh, uh, to skirt around a federal well, law, here's, but here's, within the law. Wolf, I, I, let, me, let me just share something with you real quick. I was born in New York, upstate New York, 20 miles south of Webster, New York, where a few weeks ago, a mentally deranged man, a killer, a man that beat his mother to death with a hammer, he beat her to death with a hammer so badly that the coroner couldn't recognize her. The guy was found guilty of first-degree murder, sent to jail, and the state of New York allowed this animal back out on the streets again to kill again. He illegally got a hold of a gun, set his house on fire, and when firemen arrived, he shot two of them dead. All, the, all of the situations that the president enumerated in his speech have nothing to do with even his legislation. If we want to get serious about limiting violent crime in America, we've got to look at mental health issues and we've got to look at punishing people that commit crimes. And when they commit violent crimes, they've got to go to jail and stay in jail. 
Let's get serious I I, about this. I, I, anything well, I, I other than that anyone, is just a joke. I, no one disagree, I don't think anyone disagrees with you on that but last point. But the president's point. not a commit a violent well, crime. I think everybody agrees if you commit a violent crime, you should go to jail and stay in jail. And the president, in one of his recommendations, we don't agree on does, it. We don't agree on it because if the president was really serious about it, he wouldn't have taken 90 percent of his time talking about military, quote unquote, military style assault rifles. He would have spent all of his time addressing the, the issue of the fact that these weapons account for less than one half of one percent of crimes. Less than one half of one percent. Let's let's deal with the real issues. The recidivism rate, people that get out of jail and go and kill again. The ability of people to get a hold of these weapons. Republicans have been calling for for years. Well, let me ask you this question, uh, Representative. Checks, do instant you, do you background think, checks. Do you want, do you want nothing universal, to help us with that. Do you want universal background checks on all gun transactions in the United States as the president is proposing? No, I don't. Why? No, I don't. At gun shows, if at gun shows online, we've got the technology online. Well, what if some because crazy if, guy that you just described sell, if, in upstate if New York I want to sell wants a gun, to go to a gun show, he can answer, go buy a gun? It, Wolf, that'd be, first off, that hasn't happened. If you look at that guy in upstate New York, he stole his gun. These people but he don't go to gun shows. technically, if there's no background check, it if has, he's got a criminal, criminal record, he can go to a gun show where he can buy a gun without a background check. Technically, when you that's, give me, that's obviously what, possible. Let's quit dealing with a hypothetical, though, and let's start dealing with reality, Wolf. That hasn't a, happened. There are a lot of people that who go happened. out to gun shows. People, people can buy... Uh, guns at gun shows but or those are law abiding individuals citizens Wolf, without well there are a lot of them one aren't law, unfortunately there aren't a, lo a whole lot of Wolf, Wolf. There, there's plenty who aren't uh, representative hey. right now you show can be on the no yeah. fly list you can you're not allowed to board a plane but you can go to a gun show and buy a gun is there a contradiction there Wolf, show me one one time one of these criminals has gone to a gun show and gone and and and, and committed a crime all I'm right. listening. I'm all ears. Okay. Let's deal with let's deal with reality. Hey, uh, Representative Steve Toth, uh, state representative of uh, from Texas. Thanks very much for coming in. Uh, you obviously have very very strong views, and I know you reflect a lot of people out there <laughs> well, who have and, strong views on this as you, well. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to discuss it with you. I wanted to hear your views, and now we heard it. Appreciate it very much, Steve thank Toth you. from Texas. Uh,